Have you ever woken up at three o'clock in the morning feeling like you've been just shot out of a cannon? You have so much energy flowing through your system that there's no way you can fall back to sleep, although you haven't hit your seven hour quota for the night. Well, this has definitely happened to me and it happens to a ton of my clients. And the good news is that there is a simple reason this is taking place. So today I'm going to explain to you why this happens and what you can do to avoid it in the future. So a common reason for a wake up around this time is that your blood sugar levels have plummeted to suboptimal levels. And then your body is kicking in cortisol, which is the alert hormone to bring your blood sugar back up to a normal optimal level. And as a result, you are going to get this huge burst of energy and it's going to wake you up and then you're going to have difficulties falling back to sleep. And the reason this is likely happening to you is because you're on what I call the blood sugar roller coaster. Your blood sugar is spiking throughout the day, and as a result, it's then rebounding and bottoming out, and then your body is producing cortisol to bring it back up. And this just continues this pattern throughout the day as well as in the evening. And the reason you're on this wild ride is because you're likely eating foods that have a high glycemic index. So the glycemic index is a rating system that is used to indicate the degree in which a food raises your blood sugar when consumed. So foods with a higher glycemic index have more of an impact on your blood sugar than foods with a low glycemic index. So that being said, if you suspect that you're waking up in the middle of the night due to blood sugar regulation issues, I would recommend trying to follow a diet that is rich in foods that have a low glycemic index. So those foods include your lean protein sources like chicken and beef, as well as fish, nuts, legumes, veggies, fruits, but stay away from fruits and veggies that have a higher sugar content, like your tropical fruits, think um, pineapples and bananas and mangoes, and those starchier veggies like peas and carrots. Another easy way to make sure that your blood sugar is stabilized throughout the day is to ensure that you're eating frequently. Try to eat small meals every couple hours so your blood sugar doesn't tank too low. So another helpful strategy that I have found is a game changer for myself as well as my clients is to follow the metabolic typing diet. And what this diet does is it tells you the ratios of macronutrients you should eat with each meal to stabilize your blood sugar and to use your fuel efficiently for your metabolism. So our main macronutrients are carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. So I am a slow oxidizer and that means that I require more carbohydrates. I need more fuel for my metabolism to be revved up. So as a result, um, I typically eat about 75% carbs with each meal and then 25% fat and protein. And I have just found that this has helped me to have very stable levels of energy throughout the day. And I avoid that nasty three o'clock in the morning wake up. So another example of a metabolic type would be a fast oxidizer. So people who are fast oxidizers, they metabolize carbohydrates very quickly. So instead of eating a lot of carbs like I do, they're gonna eat um, a diet that is higher in fat and protein, so say 75% fat and protein, and then 25% carbs. And I just wanna note, when I say carbs, I mean complex carbohydrates, so those healthy carbs. So your veggies, quinoa, and whole grains, not the refined carbohydrates because those are not good for your blood sugar. Another tip is to make sure you're consuming enough insoluble fiber. So what insoluble fiber does is when it enters your gut, it forms a gel-like substance and it slows the digestion of carbohydrates and hence helps to balance your blood sugar. So these foods include oatmeal, nuts, legumes, veggies, as well as apples and blueberries. So if you experience that jolt at three o'clock in the morning, I would recommend taking a look at your diet and making sure that you're employing strategies to help balance your blood sugar. Give it a try and let me know if it works. I would love to hear from you.